Good afternoon, how are you doing? My name is Tom Patterson. My Indian name is Tiakumti. I come from the village of Diti Dot, which comes from the west coast of Vancouver Island. Um, behind me here, I have a 10 foot totem pole that I created. I started thinking about it 10 years ago. So thank you for my village of Diti Dot. They, they donated the pole to me to be able to create. And over the 10 year period, I, I come up with a, a west coast whaler. If you look at the top and the face, the, the, the face is not symmetrical, and that's part of our West Coast painting. Whether it's cross action and any other types of colors, we can use any colors in the books, as I was taught when I was younger. On the chest part, we have a serpent. It's called a helix sub or a hinkies. Theoretically, it can transform into a helix sub or a serpent and be part of the harpoon. In his right hand, he's holding a harpoon. The harpoon has is painted white on the tip, and that tip is representative of maybe a whale bone or bone of some kind that my ancestors used to use. Um, when when the tip would go into the into the whale, then there would be a piece of lanyard attached to the harpoon, and it would be thrown over. So it's like a seal bladder ball. This seal bladder ball would help elevate the the whale so it wouldn't dive so much and it'd make it easier for the for the whale hunters to tow him home. On on his stomach he has a, a dorsal fin and the dorsal fin is very important because the the head chief that has the dorsal fin and carries the dorsal fin it goes into his big house and he displays it for all to see. He shares with his community and other communities around. Um, I'd like to talk about this this piece, particular piece right here. This is called an ancestor mask, and what I found so fascinating of it when I was doing it, while I was doing it in 2001, was that my ancestors not only took took pieces and carved not only their mouth, but then they would add in the teeth also. I thought I found that astonishing. It, it's something that really brought aesthetics to the piece. Like I said before, with with the pieces, they're not symmetrical; they're asymmetrical. And the designing part with the new channel people are great. The cedar bark is all part of the regalia. So when we bring out our masks in, in our potlatches or our ceremonies, we have all everything together and set up for wearing. This is a Pope Goop's mask. He's, he originated from the west coast of Vancouver Island. Um, he's a very elusive, small fellow. Um, he has supernatural powers, and with the supernatural powers, the people that get to see him, they, they end up get, getting wealth and, and having a lot of power on their side. For any of our people to, to see this person, we end up with treasures and gifts and songs and dances from him. And you can see from the back end, what I've done is I've actually fit it, so I've set it up so it, it's wearable. These are, these are the straps that we use to actually put a mask on and wear it. Thank you.